guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale and today or yesterday for some of you guys was update day and man it has not been without its fair share of hysteria, panic, glitches, bugs, maintenance breaks, there's been everything and today my job is going to be to shed some light on not just the hidden features but to shed some clarity on all the confusion around a lot of these topics that came with the update today. Day. So it's going to be kind of a two-in-one video for you guys. So let's hop right into it and let's cover a couple easy things before we get into the more in-depth, technical, and confusing things, some of which they've changed throughout the day in those maintenance break breaks that I just referenced. So the easy things, right? We have now a new crown on our, uh, our player deck, our battle deck here, of our king and our princess stats. We also have a new player profile page. As you guys can see, we didn't tell you about this in the sneak peeks our battle deck is way at the bottom and they took away some of our tournament stats uh you can see no tournaments played seven tournament wins what does that even what does that even mean i didn't have any turn oh i did have tournament wins in the global tournaments i take that back i'm seven and one right now how are you guys doing by the way in the global tournaments so this is a new obviously a, a hidden feature here but our old tournament stats are absolutely gone which I'm not a fan of, and no more king or queen levels, or, or princess, or king tower levels, excuse me, on our profile page. Now, the good news is that is just a glitch slash bug slash something they didn't notice, so they will be adding those back to the player pages. It makes it a real hassle when you're trying to vet out new recruits into your clan. What level is their king tower anyway? It's really annoying not having that there, and that will be added. That's confirmed by Supercell. Now, also, some of you guys were given a CRL emote this morning, and then a couple hours later, it was taken away. Those will be added by the end of the week, hopefully tomorrow back into the game those CRL emotes for those of you who tuned into the world finals so those are the basic easy things also let's let's cover sparky while we're here guys did you notice the sparky range increase let's go ahead and throw in my deck and uh you can see range is five used to be four and a half a very subtle sparky buff does that make any sense, or was that an accident too? We'll have to check with the Rumham, aka Seth, from the design team. But as of now, Sparky given a hidden buff here inside this update. And the last thing in terms of bugs and glitches is the sounds are all screwed up, guys. I'm not going to go ahead and name every single one of them, but suffice it to say, Goblin Barrel sounds like, I, I don't even know, all the sounds are messed up. Those will also be fixed, guys, in a future maintenance update. The arrows aren't supposed to sound like a Goblin Barrel or whatever the heck it sounds like. The Barbarians aren't supposed to sound like Elite Barbarians. So this is some of the hidden features in this update, or bugs in some cases. Now let's get to the big stuff. Okay, I lied. Two more quick things before we get to the confusing gold situation, right? Number one is the Royal Ghost emote. Some of you guys may have seen that. They have been given to players who are old school players who used to get legendary trophies. At the time that Supercell took away legendary trophies, they said that eventually, someday, and it's been years since they said that, we would get something in return for them. And finally, they've came through with a Royal Ghost emote. This will be a one-time exclusive emote that we'll never see again only for players who had legendary trophies did you guys get any let me know in the comments if you were an old school player and you did unlock that royal ghost emote also hidden in the balance update this is a good one is a new card now we know we're getting a new game mode on december 13th could that also come with a new battering ram or ram card you guys can see this it was actually in i believe in game update notes and it was also on the google play store that's the screenshot that you guys are seeing right now a new card is on the way a new ramming or battering card is on the way so you guys can probably expect a new card in this update as well if i were to guess i would guess around maybe december 13th for the new card coming to the game so when i logged in this morning the first thing i noticed was oh my god it costs gold to donate cards to my clanmates? It costs gold to execute a trade in the game now? Greedy Supercell. Yeah, that was my first thoughts. But thankfully, that has gone from the worst part of the update 
to the best part of the update in my mind because they've since clarified this and they've also made a major change based on all your complaints on Reddit and Twitter. So thank you guys for complaining. I never thought I'd say that, but it really does make a difference. So they just put out a really long Reddit post. I'm gonna go ahead and link it in the description below. You guys can go ahead and read through it if you want, but I'm gonna uh, explain it very, very easily to you guys right now. You can see in this screenshot, this is the new version of how donations in trades work when you get a card from a chest that you've already maxed out. Now, regardless of your King Tower level, once you get a card from a chest that has already been maxed out, you're going to be immediately given 50 gold. Now, if you are level 13, you'll also be given 10 star points. Now, after that, say you want to trade that card. You want to trade the gold, basically, that you got from that card. It's going to cost you 50 gold to donate that card. However, you get that 50 gold right back after you donate the card and the 10 star points. So the net gain here is 50 gold. You're really getting gold on two occasions. Number one is after you donate the card, and number two is when you pull the card from a chest. So you're actually net gaining gold in this trade. It's actually a really awesome system. And for like legendary cards, they'll only cost you 20K gold to get in a deal instead of the 40K gold that they appear in in the shop so one more note on the cards there is no longer any excess cards so as you guys can see in my card collection you can see my cards are maxed but there's no excess there's no extra cards anymore they've all been converted to star points for me and that means that if you have a card maxed no matter your king tower level you will just be given gold and you can trade unlimited amount of cards now just for gold, right, basically. So you no longer need to have those excess cards. It's a little convoluted and a little confusing, but at the end of the day, they got rid of the excess cards and they just replaced it. They took out the middleman. Those excess cards represented gold. Now it's just gold. So you're still getting gold, you're still paying gold, but there's no excess cards. At the end of the day, it's a wash and it's actually a gain in some scenarios. So that is the new trade system and the new uh, request system. However, now that we can hold double, well, we can actually, it's a new hidden update for you guys, a new hidden feature is we can hold double the amount of uh, trade tokens. And the reason for that is because it now, both parties need a trade token in order to execute a trade. Now, that has not gone over so well, although I will mention that I am a huge fan, so I'm going to request a princess here, I'm going to give an Inferno Dragon, see, it only cost me 20k gold, instead of, again, the 40k gold, like I was telling you guys, that it will it cost when it appears in the shop. Now, back to the trade thing, the fact that both people need a trade token in a lot of clans, I see just a lot of open trades, you know, unfortunately. So maybe Supercell will revisit that as well. But this is not really going to be an opinion video. I want it to be more of an informative video. So let's go ahead and move on. Hopefully that adds a layer of clarity onto the new donation system. Hopefully I explained it very simply there. So again, everything's going to basically be cheaper at the end of the day. So again, another, another hidden update here. We talked about it. All of the trade tokens in your capacity uh, have doubled so you can have up to 10 legendaries epics rares and commons and remember you no longer need the excess card in order to trade those now another hidden update guys was the shop you can now actually buy there most of them cost gold you can see I didn't I didn't buy any zappies because they cost gems and even though I have a lot of them I'm too cheap by the way guys I will be hosting uh, special tournaments with the private tournaments uh, about five times a week so tune into my streams if you want to there'll always be at least a hundred dollars cash prize because now the private tournaments only cost 10 gems each anyway that's another story for another video but you can see here the shop now if you, if you are one of those maxed out players such as myself or close to, you can actually buy star points in the shop using your gold. So that's something we didn't know about initially. I guess just for the sake of the video, I'll buy some zappies or some star points 200 uh, instead of the zappies there in that shop. I'll go ahead and open up one of these mega lightning chests for you guys as well as I talk about the last point that I want to talk about right now. And that is the leaderboard. Oh, I take it. No, okay. 
I'll edit this out. I'll open it up. I said I open it. I'll open it. Here we go. All right. It would have been really bad had I typed in my password for all of YouTube to see. I love you guys, but I don't love you that much. So I'm getting some gold. I'm getting star points because I'm opening up max cards that I already have max. You can see the star points. 550. Not bad. 980 star points. Not bad. All right. I actually need the Electro Dragon. And now I'm going to get a bunch of star points from this legendary card here. And I have those strikes if I want them as well. So a princess... I will take it. I love these new chests, guys. You can see I don't. I can skip my strikes here because I need the Electro Dragons anyway. And there it is. Not a bad chest. And I get a bunch of the star uh, points as well. So, guys, the last thing that I want to talk about hidden in this update is going to be the new leaderboard system. You can see on the global leaderboard, guys, there's no longer a top 200. I can go all the way to the bottom and see the top 1,000 players inside the entire world so a small but also noteworthy change to the leaderboard system so guys that is all i have for you in today's video again if you have any questions i'm happy to stick around the comment section for a little while after this video goes live and help clarify any of the questions you may have but for now guys i guess that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching and a huge shout out to bren chung my youtube partner check out his information in the description below stay tuned for tomorrow guys i I have an amazing uh, graveyard freeze video with big spin coming at you guys and more meta decks including some recruit decks coming later on this week as well maybe I'll continue with double uploads I just have so much content for you guys and so little time to edit and share it but anyway I just wanted to genuinely thank each and every one of you for sticking with me throughout you know all these these years here on YouTube it really means a lot to me and I look at you guys as as really friends especially in the comment section because we chat pretty much every day so guys Thanks so much. Enough of this gooey, sentimental crap. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.